I'm Bonnie Sims. I'm Taylor Sims. We're Bonnie and Taylor Sims. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through. I've been playing music my whole life, and Taylor and I met Just in college that was actually in Leveland, Texas, so and um, started our, our musical partnership and journey um, about 16 years ago. Got Georgia on my mind. My name is Taylor Sims. Uh, I play guitar and sing and write songs with Bonnie and I'm from Texas. We both grew up in Texas and uh, we have a lot of awesome memories from, from that time and, and so we wanted to put it down on tape, you know. It comes soft and clear, baby just like moonlight, oh baby just like moonlight. We've made a lot of recordings prior to this DSD recording and you know every studio experience is unique as I'm sure any musician would tell you and DSD was unique in the way that um, getting to listen back in real time didn't have as many of those missing elements that you're kind of waiting to um, EQ and be like okay I know we're gonna mix this I know this is gonna change this isn't what it's gonna sound like with DSD that immediate playback was kinda like oh this is what it sounds like especially with the vocals and just hearing all of the kind of sonic noises that aren't singing that happen in our mouths and with our breath um, DSD captures those and kind of like doesn't let them escape or get muted at all kind of keeps yeah. them on the same level of everything else yeah. so it feels very human um, right and I I echo all that um, about about DSD that, that that Bonnie just mentioned. But what I what I uh, learned and what I appreciated so much about uh, recording um, in DSD was the transparency of of emotion. Really, what 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 came through um, the music? It was one of the first times I, that I can remember listening back to our music and really feeling what I feel when I'm playing the song, not necessarily being caught up in the recording minutia, you know, that can come sometimes with the other digital recording platforms. I was, I was really struck, you know, from the first time that we listened back to one of the takes, I can't remember which one it was, it was probably first or second, first, song, like Rifle first, and first song, and we went in and we, and we listened back to it and like, it felt so good. And also, like, we all know that music is more than just a sound, like, yeah. like yeah. we've all felt music, people Literally, we can respond physically to it, that whatever that, I forget what the term is, but like when you get goosebumps and like your hair follicles prick up and like we are having a physical response to an emotional stimulation. No peace I find It's just an old sweet song and it keeps joy. Being able to capture that in recording is super valuable. Yeah. And cool as an artist because you know we've done tons of recordings and this is the first one that had that effect back so yeah that had that that thing just just straight off the off the microphone really Bonnie Sims right there yeah Bonnie and I played uh, Red Rocks um, last September September 2020 16th of 2020 if I'm remembering the date correctly yeah. and um, it was a, it was such an honor, such a good uh, experience, dream come true. Our friends, um, um, the Gasoline Lollipops, invited us. It was their mm -hmm. night and their show, and they um, had us open up for them, which was an honor. They actually did. We did two shows in one night mm -hmm. because it was a pandemic capacity thing where they can only sell so many tickets. So they did that for a five o'clock show, and then again for an eight o'clock show. Yeah. So we did um, did a double header at yeah. Red Rocks, which is. It's on our but, resume. Yeah. You don't know how many tickets we sold, not going to tell you. <laughs> but it was really fun and we were honored to be yeah, it was there. It, it was a dream come true to, to stand on that stage. And... Well, I can chew like a cannibal and I can yell just like a cat.
That one's called Every Little Bit. Yeah, and get to like, it's just like a raging belter. Um, and it's just it's just me on guitar and Bonnie singing, so it's uh it's kind it's of more broken down. It's 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 unique uh, in in terms of the rest of the album. We didn't have another song like that um, on this on this album, and so uh, and we've and we've played it live for for years and years, Long and time. and again we've never found another place that we felt it really fit until this project came along, and then we. We started digging in that one. I was like, that I'd was really a, like to record this one. And we that was a talked favorite one for me like, too. Yeah, like the way it. it turned out, the way that it, the way that it turned out in terms of the performance. That one, I, I, yeah, I, it's I really love that one. such a moment capture. Like I feel like it's definitely like a high emotion song. Mm -hmm. um, you know, borderline like you know, it's like acting it out a little bit. You know, like it's right. like pretty heightened emotion. And then so getting that that right capture with that is everything. And, and it, it was, was live. The, she, the she 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 cut it all in one take. So that was, it was, we, we did, we did capture a moment. I like that one. Yeah. During COVID, we had a music sync, sync licensing placement go viral from a Netflix movie, which was an incredible blessing because in March of 2020, all our gigs were canceled we were pretty much resigned to be like, this is gonna be a summer at home, you know, that we've never had before, so let's be grateful for that and have our garden and do that. And then in June of 2020, we had a YouTube video overnight, get five million views um, of a song. And so the president of the sync company that we had licensed these songs through contacted us and was like, did you know this was happening? And so I posted on my social medias, my personal social medias about the connection to I See Red and how that's my voice and that's our, us, that's our band, everybody loves an outlaw. And the next morning I woke up and I had literally nine emails from record companies from Republic, Columbia, Sony, a place in Turkey, a place in the UK, Warner. Mm -hmm. um, yep. It was crazy of all these different labels being like, that's your song, we want to talk to you, we'd like to take a meeting, what are your, what are your future yeah. plans in music, things like that. So we got to go through this incredible process of yeah learning a, sh a ton from um, our business partner about how to navigate this level of the industry and then eventually signing with Columbia Records mm -hmm. and yeah. getting to, um, yeah, work with them. Yeah. When you're living with ghosts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With other recording mediums, they kind of get homogenized and everything gets compressed and kind of the dynamics get all evened out to make sure that nothing's too loud or too quiet, you know, and there's an element of singing. It's like, I like it when I'm, too quiet and then too loud like I want to do that I'm doing that on purpose and this studio experience allowed me to leave that in there and like play with that more and get to have that in the finished product yeah. so it does have an element of like hum humanness like, right that and other recordings don't have previously yeah yeah we're we're very happy to, that it's that it's coming out we encourage you to yeah. to to check it out and we, we hope you guys like it as 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 much as <laughs> as we do and and uh, enjoy it as much as we did making it. Yeah, you know? for sure. So.